Sweet guns like kids play with toys. When one December our hearts will see a world where men are free. Someday at Christmas there'll be no wars. When we have learned what Christmas is for. When we have found what lights really work, huh, there'll be peace on earth. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. I got to bring this story to you because it's not really a story. It's really a condition. And the more I look at the responses to what a lot of us are saying about Master P and his son, let me further know just how far from healing we really are as a collective, especially in the black community. It seems like we are comfortable with this dysfunctional behavior. It seems like we actually think that because we are the parent of uh, people and they come through us I call them my offspring that we get to beat the hell out of them and they they don't have to never say nothing about it in fact almost like how the slave master did the slave okay uh, the slave <laughs> he just got his ass beat he wasn't gonna be talking about you know his rights or anything like that or what he felt about that type of treatment it is what it is. And I'm saying this because the catalyst to the story is uh, here we go with former NBA pro, you know, Amari Steinmeier. He, he was arrested, y'all know, and this was like a week ago. He allegedly punched one of his teenage daughters. Listen to me now. One of his teenage daughters in the face. Okay, because obviously she didn't comply he didn't like what she said. Um, we a family. This ain't supposed to go nowhere other than here. So the 40-year-old was charged with this misdemeanor battery after legend striking the teen in the jaw hard enough to make her bleed. Okay? Now, police were called when Stoudemire's ex-wife, Alexis Welsh, who also shares three other children with the basketball coach, received a plea for help from the daughter in question. The former athlete reportedly informed his ex their daughter had been disrespectful to him and said that she had also been given attitude to her grandmother. It's been reported Stoudemire not only punched a teenager at, during the incident, but continued slapping her and hitting her in the jaw. He later told authorities that he simply given his daughter a whooping for being a liar. Did you hear me? He simply just gave her a whooping for being a liar. She don't got no truth, even though she been punched and slapped by somebody he didn't agree with. And I'm not saying I'm not taking up for the daughter. I'm not saying that. If she was disrespectful or whatever. But what I am saying is you didn't have no business firing her in her jaw and slapping her up, upside the face. This is a teenager we talking about. What 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 did that resolve? First of all, nothing but to get your ass uh arrested. I observed blood stains on the victim's sweater and sweatpants, the arrest record read. The mother of the victim showed me the photo she received from her daughter, which shows the victim crying and blood running down her face. According to the Miami-Dade corrections record, Stoudemire bond was set at $1,500. His arrangement is scheduled, arraignment is scheduled, scheduled for uh, January 17th. And you know, he's out. Okay? I mean, this is what we don't, none of us, a lot of us, 
will excuse Amari. Not only is it bad enough he's a big man, 6'10", ex-NBA player, punching his daughter and hitting on her as strong as he is, lifting weights and doing all that. Uh, the fact that you would even beat up a female like that is really disturbing to me. I don't care whose kid she was. But here's what it reminds me of. Same kind of whoopings a lot of us got growing up. You know, ironing cord whoopings, um, punches in the face, slaps in the face, uh, all kinds of just <laughs> hideous type of shit. And the thing about it is usually hurt people hurt people. So when you grow up in an environment like that and that's normal, it's real easy for you to do that kind of stuff in your relationships. And then you wonder why you don't got nobody. Because a healthy um, family does not do all that kind of stuff. It doesn't matter how much money you got. It doesn't matter. Any, it's regardless of those things. That's why when I did that story about Master P and Romeo, abuse is on all kinds of levels. I believe that Romeo wasn't able to express himself to his father. And because he wasn't able to express himself, he's frustrated. And he's angry. And he's 34. He's a man. And he's got a family. And Master P can out talk him. Like he said, I'm a hustler. I come from nothing. And he's proud of that. He continues to uh, you know, use that like a mantra. Like that means he can't grow emotionally. You know, I, I understand this proper. I, I, I ain't going to apologize about that. I ain't going to all ego. A lot of us think that being a parent means that um, our offspring are supposed to protect us even in our to their own detriment, even when it stunts their development. And I don't think that that's a fair uh, assessment. I think a lot of us are totally dysfunctional because we feel we have the right as parents to abuse our offspring because we were abused. I remember when my mama did me, my mama took some hot water and, and, and pushed it on my face and I'm looking like, what the fuck? Or somebody said, yeah, I, I never called nobody. Oh, my, my, my mama used to spit in our faces uh, tobacco, and I never uh, said anything about it. I just knew better than your mom was morbid like that, and nobody stopped her, and you had to live up under her leadership, and that's fine. But when you uh, want to talk about that's what she did, she mad, everybody mad. Well, hell, if you was ashamed of the behavior, what the hell you do it for? Because obviously you got some feelings behind it. To hear it back, it don't sound so good. So when you hear the shit back at you, then you want to talk crazy. Because I don't understand how Amari felt that because the daughter was out of hand verbally, uh, he said she was getting smart or lippy. And y'all know teenagers. Teenagers are crazy. If they survive uh, uh, teenage years, you've done well. Most of them are finding themselves. And, yes, they do have an attitude. That's different than a, a, a you know, a, you, <laughs> well, somebody seven or eight years old, and you go, listen, I don't like that behavior you're doing. I don't like your attitude. I don't like where you're uh, talking to your grandma. You know, and let me take my hand or let me do what I do to take your butt up a little bit to let you know I'm not playing with you. Whatever it is. But to punch somebody in the uh, jaw, draw blood, and have majority of black people think that's okay. The girl shouldn't have been smart with her father. You go to show me how sick, again, we really are. And that's some sick stuff right there. Everybody should be able to express 
how you showed up in their life. How did you show up? I don't know how you think you showed up, but how I know that's that's that was that's a hard pill to swallow. Cause a lot of times we think we do things perfect. When my kids told me how I showed up, I didn't like it. It was like trying to put on some shoes that was two sizes too small for me. But I got through it. And I had I got a chance to see myself from somebody else's eyes. And because I want to be a better human being, I don't just say it's my way or no way. I tried to look at now everything I didn't agree with or everything I could because I'm a I'm really a work in progress. I'm not going to make it so difficult when they want to talk to me that they got to go to the Internet because I won't listen. I'm not going to do that. And I suggest that, you know, like I said, Master P come out of that because that's a control situation. Amari Stoudemire is controlled. He's, he can control his daughter. That's not how any of this works. So my prayer goes out to that family, and they're going to need a little extra therapy behind this. But Amari got it. He got it. And, yes, I do advocate for it. You know, and if you don't want to go because you don't trust, well, then just see if you can read as much literature or look at as much stuff that that talks about personalities. And, and, and disorders and social paths and um, stuff like that. Whether you agree with this, the dominant people who, because they the master social path, so you know, of course they can identify it. But it would behoove us to understand that mental illness is serious, and some of the stuff that we experienced in our families and in our homes just was not right. Because we got years and years and years and years of abuse. From Jim Crow to slavery to picking cotton to doing all, all that stuff is mind boggling. And being being beat by somebody because you didn't do it correctly. Yeah, of course you're going to beat your children. And then generation after generation after generation, that becomes acceptable. You have a situation that you got now where parents think they can do anything. And then the kids, because they had them. They get to control all of that. Listen, you ain't did nothing special because you fed your kid, damn it, and you made money. You were supposed to do that. What was you supposed to do? Make a bunch of money with your family and then just throw this stuff out in the streets? You made them babies. You supposed to take care of them. You ain't did nothing special because you did that. Nobody under the sound of my voice. You ain't done nothing special because you took care of your kid. That's me included. All of us, women or men. Because you got some women out here that they ain't trying to have no kids. And you see, because they drop them off and then you got to call protective services just to get them to come back. My prayers go out to that family and to the daughter. Um, and I hope Amari... Um, Gets the help that he need to be able to see this from a different perspective. Since you was quick to say how quick Kyrie should be seeing something. Maybe you should see your parenting skills as very infallible. And I'm going to go. So if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and give me your opinion about what you think. It's okay. If y'all think he should have popped his daughter in the jaw, I really want to hear that. Because some of y'all be like, well, you know, she shouldn't have did this or she shouldn't have did that. Don't be afraid to say what you think about it. I mean, really. I look forward to your comments below. See you in the next video.